Do you want one of these? Oh, thank you. Um, I... <laughs> Charles? <laughs> oh, yeah, John, how are you? How are you? Good, yeah. Uh, this is, um... Carrie. Carrie. Delighted, I'm John. Hi, John. <laughs> <laughs> So, John, how's that, how's that gorgeous girlfriend of yours? Oh, she's no longer my girlfriend. Ah, dear. Still, I wouldn't get too gloomy about it. Rumour has it she never stopped bonking old Toby Delisle, just in case you didn't work out. <laughs> she is now my wife. I think I'm falling in love with him, Mother. I could have been afraid of him, but for his nicotine-stained fingers. Honey, Mom, can't close his eyes. He burned in a bomber. How interesting. Many men had gone to the Great War, and the rest of the village was in chapel. All except Morgan the Goat, of course. You fat men. This silly way. Deustem Parachtachi. Excuse me, does anyone here speak English? Well, English, are you, huh? Uh, that would explain everything. All right. Toast time. All right. Um, this is amazingly enough to us. <laughs> Five incredible, incredible years. <laughs> Cheers. Mr. Ferris, my youngest is not to be found this morning. She's a little shy of strangers at present. Well, naturally. I'm sh shy of strangers myself, and uh, I have nothing like her excuse. How do you like your view, Mr. Ferris? Very much. Your stables are very handsome and beautifully kept, Mrs. Dashwood. <laughs> Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. My Lincoln Green. <laughs> How funny. Now, if I may, um, this letter commands the following commission by one Elias Finn, myself. A noble and beautiful portrait of Lady Merivale. An excellent painting will earn Mr. Finn a small place at court. So, you see, not Robin Hood, the king. Shall we go? Yeah, what do we got? Captain. Uh, 32-year-old cop, multi-gun shot, definitely right chest and leg. Okay, vitals in the field. Stable. Type of weapon. Ask him. He shot him. Oh, Multi shots also. There was a crack pipe in his pocket. Okay, let's get lines pressure from the floor back here. I need two teams. Simon, this is your guy. Martin, Christina over here. Come on, guys, I need you out of here right now. Do us a favor, okay? You two, Father, you're much too early, as ever. Uh. Uh. Oh dear, now look at that. I've gone and used up three whole bodies in just under a minute, and all because I forgot to unplug first. That really was terribly silly of me. Sorry about that, my dear. But unfortunate. Oh, doctor. Oh, assistant. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. I was going to steal one, but now I've changed my mind. <laughs> oh, signed by the author, I see. Um, yeah, I couldn't stop him if... Uh... If you can find an unsigned one, it's worth an absolute fortune. Excuse me. Yes. Can I have your autograph? Ah. Uh, sure. Uh, yes. What's your name? Rufus. Thank you. Nine thousand dollars. Ten thousand. Eleven thousand. Twelve thousand. Any more? She's still talking, but now she's got her mum on the line. So sold to you, sir, for twelve thousand dollars. You are bidder number nine zero nine. Moving on, lot number 84. Uh, oil on canvas, dated 1870. La femme chez Aube, which translates as um, uh, a woman with massive bottom. I saw a beautiful painting of fruit mm -hmm. um, at the uh, Met or the Whitney. Um, it might have been the, the, the Holocaust. Are, are you affiliated with any of the no, 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 museums? No, no, I'm a private dealer. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we have one or two paintings, but I haven't really gotten around to uh, uh, building a collection yet. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So, what's your? What, what are you interested in? What's your? Mm, uh, Rembrandt, uh, Picasso, <laughs> Michelangelo. <laughs> you know the boys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think I might be out of Michelangelo's just at the moment. Oh. <laughs>
and especially will not fantasize about a particular person who embodies all these things. Unfortunately, he just happens to be my boss, Editor-in-Chief Daniel Cleaver. And for various slightly unfair reasons relating to this year's Christmas party, I suspect he does not fantasize about me. What do you have to say for yourself? Well? Don't well me. Don't well me about him, for Christ's sake. He comes around uninvited every night of the week. And do you know why? Because he's having the shit bullied out of him at school. And you haven't got a clue. You're sending him out there like a lamb to the slaughter. He's been taken to pieces every day of the week, you daft fucking hippie. I think you're being a bit melodramatic. Marcus is doing it fine. It was strange. Will had it right. Mum didn't. I'm so sorry to have kept you so long. No, it's okay, really. At least I, I feel I know everything about you. And I knew. You know, usually I'm so nervous at interviews, but that was fun. Yes. Isn't fun fun? It's been a pleasure, Tiffany. Uh, Mr. Wade? Mr. Wade? Mr. Wade, hi. I'm Lucy Kelson. I'm an attorney. Have you ever heard of Saint Tropez Law School? Um, no. no. Shame. Uh, Mr. Mr. Where did you go to law school? Harvard. Uh, uh, Harvard? Yes. Intriguing. Right, who do you have to screw around here to get a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit? <laughs> right. Yeah, come in. These have just come through from the Treasury. Uh-huh. And these are for you. Excellent. Thanks a lot. At last, life is on track. Bridget Jones, fiancé, wife, mother. Bugger. Ever fancy doing it in the dark with a total stranger? No, all right then. Perhaps not a total stranger. Back off, Cleaver, or I'll report you to a sexual harassment tribunal. I'm a serious journalist. Is that your most serious skirt, Jones? Oh. Do you like it? Perdone que le moleste. Soy el nuevo vecino. Solo quería decirle que a lo mejor va a oír algo de ruido. Voy a hacer unas obras. Pase. Gracias. Le he traído un detallito. Muy amable. Mm. Hi, Tweety. Hi, Sally. Just, uh... I wanted to say good luck tonight. Mm, thank you. Could you just give us a quick second, please? Sure. Thank you. So, um, I think you're going to win. <laughs> Novelty contestants never win the whole thing. That's why I've been helping them along. Thank you. I think that we should get some breakfast. No, no, please, come on. We're finally on a roll here. Listen again. I've been living with a shadow overhead. There'll be no more rhymes until I'm fed. Please, seriously, seriously. I've been living with a shadow overhead. I could be inspired with just a piece of bread. I have the perfect place. It's just on the next corner. Okay. Keep, keep moving and keep writing. All right, I've been looking for someone to shed some light. With regard to the whole adoption thing, it is possible that I did drag my feet a little bit. You would be a terrific mother. Caring, and supportive, and completely smothering. I'm so looking forward to that. But I am not sure that I would be good at it. Really? That's what you're worried about? A bit, yes. Yes. What makes you think I would be a good father? Well, you're all of you wrong. The best bit about being a pirate isn't the looting or the cutlasses. It's not the grog. Or the scurvy, or the scantily clad mermaids. The best bit about being a pirate is ham night! Yay! Ah, oh, Satan's gonads not again. Look, just bugger off and leave us in peace. I'm only going to ask you nicely once. Good to see you, Denny. I'm not lending you a ruddy farthing till you pay back the last lot. Why? Why should I be forever giving you handouts? Denny? 
I've had a minor run-in with the wrong sort. If I don't get my hands on £60,000, I'm going to take an awful beating. Well, get them to video it for us, would you? Now, fuck off! Will there be anything else? Yes. I don't think you're an optimism machine. I know how hard you work at being a mum and a student, and I'm in awe. I'm completely in awe. And, although I was only gone for a few hours, I found myself missing you. Now, it's quite possible that if I'd stayed away a few more hours, I'd have just completely got over that, but uh, now we'll never know. So the answer is yes, I'm hoping that there will be something else. Much more else. Well, in a nutshell, yes. Please. Thank you very much. I think it's rather nice. I mean, we're obviously all very fond of Gabby, and now we have a chance to, to save her. So. Terrific. A little early. What is that? It's an aircraft carrier, Kyriakin. For a special agent, you're not having a very special day, are you? It's going very, very, very well. I don't feel that I imbued the moment of inspiration with the intensity it deserved, but it was a serviceable attempt. Better than serviceable. It was good. <sighs> My amulets, please. Amulets? Has the impending potato salad catastrophe been averted? Even as I speak, the chef has a team out scouring Manhattan for chives. No chives. What next, I wonder? Unconscionable, I know, but they tell me there is a war on, Bunny. How many times have I told you not to dance down the stairs? Oh, yes, well, once or twice, once or twice, yes. Was it hotline bling again? Yes, I'm afraid it was. When I hear that hotline bling, that can only mean one thing. I assume that cup of tea is for me. No. You've changed. I have, and I'll make you one. Come on. Come on. I liked it best when you worked for me. <laughs> right. Will. Fuck. Yeah, because like with the people I don't know, like apart from that one guy, I asked them and they're all like, no. Yeah. Like this one woman, like she said she was going to call the police. Yeah. Well, can, uh, the guy who said yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, crap. Uh, like he just came in. Like people were pointing at him, so I asked him, but like, I don't actually know who he is. Me. Oh. Oh. West End, here I come. <laughs> Morning. <gasps> Did you hear what Harold Wise said about the trip to Rhodesia? I would be very, very, very disappointed. I would be very, very, very disappointed. I'd be very, very, very disappointed, and so would my whip it. <laughs> Steak tartar, sir. Thank you very much, indeed. Sir, Signor Baselli, I have news. John Pardo has practically confirmed it. Grimmond is stepping down. One more year, 18 months at the most. Oh, and good luck to you too, darling Miranda. Thanks, Fifi. No, please don't call me that. Since we'll be spending so much more time together, Fiona is much better. Well, it's not too late to run, you know. It is a family tradition. I could just order you an Uber right now. <laughs> Shush. I'm a much better human than you. To it, Fletcher. I'm starting to itch. Now, we both know that your boss has very, very deep pockets, and I would like to invite him just to have a teeny rummage in them. What the fuck are you talking about? If you would be so kind as to furnish me with 20 million British pounds, I will give you everything. Memory cards, contact sheets, recordings, the lot, and a modest little screenplay I wrote all by myself. Help me, please. What I don't know why. On? I'm suddenly six years old. Oh, God. All right. Why the tie, hmm? Not another funeral. It's the turd's idea. And no, not all my patients die anyway. Oh. Why are you so dressed up? What's his name? Ladies' tea. Planning the fundraiser. Oh, school auction. Did I mention I'm not going? Polarization is the problem of our age. And not just in America, in the actual world, too. Whether the debate is over Trump or Brexit or science or gender, God help us, or the reality itself, no two factions can agree or agree to disagree or even agree that their disagreement might be disagreeable. I'm not sure I totally agree. Well, then why don't you fuck off? 
It was shaping up to be a clash of really epic proportions. Perhaps the closest historical parallel would be the Battle of Hogwarts, when Lord Voldemort set every single Death Eater to attack the school and defend his final Horcruxes, which... But isn't that Harry Potter? Do you go on? Thank you. Of course, Trump's supporters believed that the only way to stop the deep state from destroying democracy was by destroying it themselves first. Greg Simmons. The billionaire arms dealer. Oh, a lot of very serious faces up here, aren't there? You can't catch this fish with conventional lures. I'm sorry? The lure being? Tony Francesco. Whatever I do. Whatever I do, do. Whoever Greg was buying from was amongst you last. <laughs> Yeah.